What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We have female Muzan. <clears throat> so Muzan from Demon Slayer in his sort of female form. Um, so I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these, sketch them out lightly, you know, so you can erase your mistakes. Try have fun. So center point of my page about here, we're just gonna come up over to the right a little bit and start with the eyes. So it's like, it's that scene where it's like semi close up. So we don't see the top of the head. You just see like the face and some of the fringe and she is kind of looking down at us right so up over to the right and we'll do top eye right so real spiky kind of so we go up over and kind of spikes up like that right you gotta thicken this up so we'll just add some extra thickness to it And then eyelashes. Right, some of this goes underneath the hair, so you'll have to raise some or color over. Bottom eyelid line, so curves down and up <clears throat> into this corner again. And then thicken it up slightly. that and then we'll add eyelashes kind of like this right so looking down at us right so the circle for the iris comes around from the bottom eyelid it goes up and around here right like that and then real narrow thin demon eyes in there and then we have those vein like <clears throat> eye lines coming around here and they're kind of like letter Y's and these sort of cracks and stuff in the eyes so the other eye you get add eyebrows first but we'll, we'll go over what will I? I don't know no we'll do we'll get the other eye in first just to kind of get them even so other eye same sort of thing Doesn't have to be exact same. Remember that eyes aren't actually symmetrical, contrary to popular belief. So this goes up and around. I think they're not perfectly symmetrical. And you just make this line thicker. Add our eyelashes sticking up. <clears throat> and then the bottom eyelid. Goes down to the spike here in the front. And we'll thicken this up a little bit. So, and eyelashes. Smaller eyelashes on the bottom, usually. And then the eye again, looking down. So, on the bottom eyelid. And then thin, thin eye like a cat's eye. 
<clears throat> and then we have those veins. Like that. Just make it spiky, just in here at the nose. Try to anyway. Right, so then eyelid lines. So we go up, then it goes over. Then we go up, over. Eyebrows just above. So it goes underneath hair, but we'll just we'll draw it in, and we can erase it after real thin at the back and we'll color it dark and maybe like some hatching just there eyebrow goes that way eyebrow on this side back here shade it in Nose lines sort of there, some hatching here. <clears throat> right, we come down to the nose. So the nose is, it just has these kind of hatching lines on the side. So imagine this line keeps going. And then we add like some hatching, one diagonally down that way. And then we have a nostril there. And then a nostril. The mouth so feminine mouth right so lipstick and stuff so you could do the lipstick in pink i'll do it in black just because i'm using the black marker but if you want i can change it to pink afterwards but if you're coloring or you want to add color and not just a black line drawing i would do it in pink right the center line for the mouth is done in black so we'll do that first so we go up down back up back down so that always reminds me of like um handle of a bow and arrow you know it's the kind of shape and then the string so this is done in pink this part right so say the string for the bow and arrow we go back here i'm going to stop here because i want to add a, a highlight like a white shine in the lip just this sort of circular white area and then go around here and then i'm going to just color this dark Right. <clears throat> and then Demon Slayer, they have these diamond like shadows underneath their chin. Like so. Underneath their bottom lip, sorry, did I say chin? Yeah, it's just there. So then the chin. Down here, relatively pointy, like that. So now, we are looking up at this. So because the head is tilted sort of backwards, we have eyebrows. Eyebrow to the nose is about the same as nose to chin. And then <clears throat> uh, nose to bottom lip, right? See this? Maybe the shadow sort of here to here, about the same as here to here. Okay, so this is about the same as this. And this eyebrow area to nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin as the head is tilted backwards right so then jaw comes up the side like so we go around here now so the fringe comes down the side of the face right so starting up here we'll have 
our fringe sort of cutting off the face. So spirals down around all here. And then this goes down all the way to the bottom of my page. So she's got like really long hair. Okay, and then the other side goes down this way. Like so. And then, so we've got like some lines on the inside here. All right, so there's some extra sort of hairlines and things, texture lines on the hair, it seems. This sort of stuff. Like so. And then hair on the other side. Let me see if I can brighten this up a bit. There's that hairline. So that seems to go sort of in here. And then the other hairline comes down this way. spiraling sort of curvy sort of hair like that and the other side from the top of my page all the way down this kind of thing and like some hair texture and around like so Just on the corners, we have some hair texture lines going down there. And then we have our hairline, like the forehead that comes across, right? So it's got this sort of start of a V just here. And then this comes across like so. Across the top of our head. And then hair texture lines here. around it's all that texture lines there so more hair coming out the side kind of tied up sort of hair like this kind of thing and then on this side And then jewels or gems or like maybe beads wrapped around the hair. I'm not really sure. One, two, three, four, and a fifth there. Going around the back of her head. <clears throat> Something like that on this side as well. One, two, three, four. And then we have, we can see her ear on this side. there and then right so we've more hair but it kind of goes down behind her neck so we'll do neck first neckline curving outwards from the jaw <clears throat> this goes down like this to there and then the kimono, the black kimono here, like so, there, and that like goes to this side, down like this. And then the shoulder pops out here, down, shoulder pops out here, down. So. Narrow shoulders because it's female, right? So quite a big face. So the outside of the shoulders there. So it's like normally it's face width on a male, but because you're female, you're kind of the the width of the face will bring you out past the shoulder. You know what I mean? So you want it to be a bit narrower. And then that kimono line just comes down 
this way. And she's got like a love heart or flower or cherry blossom leaf or something just here. Right, so then the rest of that long hair, so it kind of, it's it's all tied up, right? So it just like bumps down. Around to here. <laughs> that, and then there's these tassels that sort of hang down here, pink tassels. Let's see sort of the end on these, on this side, and then texture, <clears throat> like so. And then, more texture on the hair. So just hair texture going in like this way. And then it sort of weaves in behind the neck, sort of back in here. Like so. Uh, but that is, I think, everything. That is our draw, female Muzan. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.